Hey guys, we're back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about all the news that has been released on LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga and how it could be the best LEGO game ever made. Yes, better than LEGO Batman 2. Now, first thing on the list will be the character count. It has been rumored that the game could launch with over 250 characters. That's a lot of characters for a LEGO game to be having. Because, as I remember, the standard for LEGO games used to be about 150. Now, 250... Can you stop doing construction outside? Alright, continuing. Now, 250 characters. That's, that's a nice amount, as... Judging by how big the Star Wars roster is, it could work. Those characters would most likely include Anakin, Padme, Luke, Yoda, Obi-Wan Kenobi, General Grievous, Dark Maul, Han Solo, and many, many more. That could also include different variations of characters such as Anakin being Darth Vader and having him having Dark Vader without the mask and different variants of everyone and maybe Luke in the black stealth suit. That could be cool. On to the next thing. TT Games is considering putting a mumble only mode in the game which could be accessed from the menus. I would personally not play the game in a mumble only mode because I would like to hear humanity every once in a while instead of just hearing huh, 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 you know. So far, there has been 13 confirmed planets. There could be up to 20. That's a good thing. Let's just hope that each of the planets are big enough to have fun exploring on. I would be glad if they made each planet as big as Manhattan and Lego Marvel superheroes because I actually enjoyed going around Manhattan, how nicely dense it was and how close it was to the real Manhattan, even though it had its flaws. In order for there to be that many planets that are explorable outside of levels, there would have to be more gold bricks though. Can't just survive on 250 gold bricks throughout maybe 20 different planets the same size, that big. There would have to be at least like 400. Another thing TT Games mentioned is every structure is made of Lego bricks in real life and then photoed and placed into the game so basically it will make everything look more in place with the minifigures with everything being lego and all that it will look nice also they also mentioned that each ship is explorable so you can explore star destroyers and everything and it has random events that can occur such as let's say you're flying towards jakku a star destroyer can exit hyperspace and you can either fly away and enter hyperspace to avoid it or board it and engage the enemy if no one got that reference then you haven't played assassin's creed 3 before also there's going to be 45 main levels each 15 minutes long that is very very short for a level game to have 15 minute long levels but throughout 45, so there's nine movies, each movie will have five levels. You can start anywhere. So let's say you just want to skip right until you meet Rey in The Force Awakens. You could do that and play Force Awakens and then go back and play everything else. A New Hope, Return of the Jedi, and all that. The DLC, though, 45 main levels, plus there may be side levels that you can unlock by doing... Side missions, getting a specific amount of Kuiper bricks, Kuiper, um, gold bricks and all of them. You can unlock secret, secret missions. And the DLC for the game could add a lot of extra stuff. So this is a game that could keep getting support for a very long time, judging by how big they say this, cause this is going to be. Let's hope more information gets released about the game. It is said that the game will be releasing in 2020, so it seems that TT Games hasn't gotten information about the last Star Wars movie. The developers are holding on to that information to wait until it comes out to let TT Games finish the last sequence of the game. Also, I would like to see your comments in the comment section uh, what your favorite Lego game is. Mine is personally Lego Batman 2. And if I'm forgetting anything about this game, about all the news that has been released for it, please comment that and then down in the comment section. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.